spacecraft running there on the sun. Pretty incredible. Meanwhile, changing gears, the Hooters women teaming up with the Cub Scouts. Apparently some parents in Denver outraged after seeing pictures of their young sons at a Cub Scout camp with the waitresses in attendance. The Boy Scouts say the restaurant approached them about sponsoring the camp and have since apologized, but our next guest says that's not good enough. Her name is Michelle Ketterborough. Her seven-year-old son was at that camp and she joins us now. Thank you so much, Michelle, for being with us. So why were you so upset? And how did you find out the well, girls were there? We found out the girls were there when I went to pick up my son and his friend from the camp on the third day. Um, and and there they were. And every, you know, they were in um, their visors and their jackets, you know, with the, the name of the restaurant on it and everything mm -hmm. like that. And that was just kind of strange. I mean, they were super friendly, super nice. The kids had a great time with them, my son included. Um, they were wonderful. But the thing that concerned us was, you know, and hopefully you'll agree, but Hooters and the Boy Scouts don't seem like a natural fit. What, what, so what we questioned your, it with our local council. Yeah, what exactly was your concern? Was it the way that they usually dress? Because I see that they appear to be covered up there, or the fact that they serve they alcohol, are. or just the uh, that it's a restaurant. What was the, what was the thought in, in, in your mind? The concern for us was that it's our belief that Hooters is an adult themed restaurant mm -hmm. you know the girls are geared towards adult men not seven-year-olds you know so these kids they can read they're seeing the logo you know they brought in race cars and drivers and the girls and all of these things and and my son is seeing the restaurant you know we go past it there in town and it's fine right. and so he's had a really positive experience with the brand now and we have to explain to him why we don't go there Okay. So well, now we're having, you know. Right. Uh, Michelle, apparently the reason the girls were there was because that uh, to pay for the expenses of the camp, uh, apparently a number of local businesses would uh, donate money, and apparently Hooters mm -hmm. decided to go ahead and donate a, a lot of the money uh, to make your son's uh, camp possible. Uh, but, you know, I, I think there are a lot of people who are looking in on this, people who have taken their families to Hooters in the past, and they say, you know, that's, mm -hmm. I, I don't see a problem with that. Right. Um, and that's a choice that they get to make for their families, and I respect that. You know, it's certainly not the choice that, that we make for ours mm -hmm. at this point. Absolutely. Um, you know, I just, usually, if someone's going to have a sponsor or corporate participants in a camp, they're proud of this, they're excited about it, you know, it's on the itineraries, it's on, you know, any of the registration materials or, you know, the release forms. It, I understand that, that sponsorships help, I understand that community volunteers help put these camps on. You know, we paid for it, it wasn't mm -hmm. a free camp, right. but I think if Boy Scouts were really proud of this particular partnership, they would have told us instead of just, you well, know, letting us Michelle, sort of find out We reached out to Boy Scouts, and this is what they said about it. They said a group of trained volunteers mistakenly wore the wrong attire. The issue was addressed by our council leadership. We extend our apologies for this mistake and look forward to continuing our mission of serving youth in the Denver area. What did they mean by that? Were the girls supposed to wear something? I mean, it looked pretty covered up to me. I understand sure. your complaint with the word Hooters on it, though. You don't want that next to your son. I understand that. Exactly. Um, their their clothes were, were appropriate. They certainly weren't wearing what they wear in the restaurants or anything like that. You know, it was hot out. They're wearing shorts. It was my understanding. Whatever the mistake was with their wardrobe, they were supposed to be in the same Boy Scout church as the campers or as the other volunteers and supervisors, other parents that were there. Um, and again, I think that would have been fine. Absolutely fine. Um, you know, if if there was an issue and Boy Scouts addressed it during the camp, you know, they're there three days. Right. And, you know, and they're wearing, they're wearing their Hooters gear, you know. If, if that was a problem, it actually should have been corrected. You know, if they were in inappropriate clothes that way, right. all they had to do was pull them aside, 
throw sure. Boy Scout T-shirts on, and the issues, mm -hmm. it's done. Yeah, well, you know? I, I, I get your concern. I, I've been to a number of camps. My kids have been to camps. I, I can't think of a time where the sponsors have been mentioned ahead of time. Yeah. So okay. I, I don't know if that's new. Listen, Michelle, thank you very much for coming on board and telling us your concerns from the city sure, of Denver thanks for having today. me. Obviously a good mom. Yeah. There you go. She's thank very you. worried about that. So uh, <laughs> folks out there in TV land, what do you think? Uh, do you think that it was inappropriate for the Boy Scouts to team up with Hooters? Or do you, do you have a problem with it, yes or no? Email us, friends at foxnews.com. You can tweet us or you can Facebook. I think we're going to have mixed viewers. Some viewers yeah. are going to think it's okay and some are not. Lots of discussions here, so we'd like yeah. to